What's up, everybody? Felipe Bombonado here, Catonia nerd on the road. I'm currently not doing keto right now, but I am doing some fasting. I am married since last you saw. Uh, sorry, no, I'm kidding. Uh, very lucky to be with my wife. Love her very much. I'm here in Fayetteville in Arkansas, and she's going to school here. I have a little bit of time off from the show, so we moved in. Uh, have our first married apartment, pretty awesome. Um, and I am on my workout here, still fasted. It's about 5.42 p.m. Uh, what did I do so far? I ran two miles, and then I did about six or seven sets on the squat, and some leg days, just finished, don't worry. I'm not just repping the bars. Although that'd be okay. Um, I went up in increments from 135 to 225 and I did five reps each with each uh, weight. I guess I did 135 and I added tens all the way all the way to 225 on each side, tens, 10 pounds each. And then I went back to 185, one more set. And then I just finished. I was a little sweaty, but I'm good now. Now I'm gonna do my second uh, little workout. It's called Hotel Hell, because you can easily do this workout on the road. And I thought it was fitting because I can do this on the road. And um, <clears throat> uh, since I'm, some of you are traveling and stuff, this would be a good way to implement a workout, even with not that many weights and uh, not that much room. So, uh, here's how the workout works. I got this from the internet. It's a CrossFit workout. I've been on a little CrossFit kick. You do a thing called clusters, which are clean thrusters. You, uh, I'll show you maybe in a little bit, but you, uh, you do a thruster with a clean and you do a hundred of those. And you start off with five burpees and every minute on the minute, you do um, five more burpees. So it becomes uh, very tiring. It becomes, you know, hotel hell. Oh boy. Uh, just finished up that workout. I also forgot to say in the workout before, aside from the barbell squats that I did, back squats, I also did uh, three sets incrementally getting heavier from 25 to I think 45 kettlebell goblet squats. So you just grab it on the the handle of the kettlebell and I put a 35 pound weight uh, plate. <laughs> I'm tired. Uh, 35 uh, pound plate on the ground and I put, I put my heels on it and that helps with uh, just using the, the quads more. And I also, instead of my legs being like this on the squat, they were together. So I did that as well. And then for this other workout that I just did again, I messed up a little bit, because, well, a lot of bit. My form wasn't the best all the time. And I'm not perfect. God's perfect, not me. Um, I, whew, tired. I did shoulders yesterday, so the clusters, when I go up, I had to switch about halfway. I uh, switched to just cleans instead of the clean thrusters, which are called clusters. Uh, shout out to my friend Ashley Dawn Mortensen de Santis, because she's been helping me a lot with uh, different CrossFit workouts and all that uh, verbiage and all that stuff. But. I did it in about 13, 14 minutes, something like that. Uh, 10 is really good. Under 10 is really good, and I'm not there yet, and that's okay. First time I did that workout, I'd like to do this workout again. But as you can see, I am drenched, and this is Ketonian Fasting Fay, alliteration, Fasting Fay on the road. So, hope you're all well. God bless, take care, peace out. Go Gators. Yeah. Okay, so also, 
I think, you know, I'll also always, <laughs> I'll always be a fat kid at heart uh, because I was, dr I'm driving now and that's why I'm not looking that much because I'm a safe, safe driver. Uh, I, um, I passed by a Cinnabon and I went like this. I did a triple take because it's Cinnabon! Oh God! Why did you work there? Ah! It's not the reason I'm fat. Um, but I thought that was funny, so I wanted to share with you how it happened. I like that little curl. It's because I'm still sweating. I'm a beast.